hi guys welcome back to my channel and if it's your first time here my name is irene and feel at home so on today's video video i'm going to do something very different which is a vlog pod whereby i'll have a topic and on today's day we are doing dating mistakes and on the vlog side i'll be doing a bedroom makeover as i'm trying to decorate and change this bedroom that one of the mistakes that people do well what mistakes we do while dating is pretending or acting to be someone that you are not just to keep the person you know you have to know that just be who you are and let the person or the people decide to stay or walk away because this is going to help the two of you to know what and who you really are and choose to work on the relationship because nobody's perfect at the end of the day so show the true colors of yourself and people will work from that angle from that side they just have to accept you rather than pretending to be someone else it's so tiring and draining in the process so another mistake is always sounding or looking like a chaser being the person that is very obsessed being the person that is the most neediest and helpless in this situation like if i cannot be with you nothing else will go on in my life it's okay to make efforts but don't accept someone who can't reciprocate your energy because at the end of the day you're going to be the one who suffers and this person is simply doesn't want you or they want you and then they make you do the work why would you do that another mistake is hoping that your partner will change you know you meet someone with issues and accept them and believe that you two can work on the shortcomings and move on but after some time you realize that they are neither interested in changing nor working on the issue so it's your time to move you have to understand that this is a mistake you're making because they will never change you know it's like you're forcing the person it's like at the end of the day they will tell you that i did all this because of you i never wanted to change in the first place so let people change because they want to change or be sure because the choices you're making today are going to affect you later so be on the outlook remember that you cannot change this person stop hoping that they will change it's either you move along or you move away from them the choice is yours another mistake we make while we are dating is that we don't get to know our people better you don't know him personally you don't know anything about his family his friends their values get to know the person because imagine being with someone for at least two months and there's nothing you, you know about them because the earlier you find out about this person the better because you will know where do they stand they even want to date for a very long time how what do they think of relationships what do they think of certain issues are you on the same page who is the closest person you can run to when they're not available do you know where this guy lives do you know maybe he's married or something and probably could be could be difficult you know this will help you to determine the quality and characteristics of your relationship because we are all defined and guided by our interests believe and the people in our lives so you know that saying show me your friends and i'll tell you who you are yes once you know the people surrounding this person or the things he thinks or she thinks about the things they value you're going to know more about them and try to you can do this by asking simple questions have conversations and if that is difficult friend a dig and thank me later problem or another mistake is lack of communication oh god have you ever seen a crying baby that can't talk and don't you don't know what to do but guess the problem 
and what they need. You're just guessing. Yes, this is just the case with lack of communication in a relationship. You all have to be able to speak your mind, feelings, and do it in a better way with your partner or otherwise you always misunderstand each other and it could sometimes seem like you're always being judged but it's just the way you're communicating or the things that you talk about or the things that you stress about you know find a way that you two can communicate and make sure you can communicate in the first place speak how you feel speak what matters to you say about how your day was talk about how you like to be treated talk about how you don't want to be treated talk about your past traumas if it's possible not in a negative way but in a way that it can help to build a relationship and work on it even when things are not working out another problem that we do while dating is settling this is something that we do mostly out of the fear of what will it be next, what will the people say, or how can I do it? But do you want to keep on pursuing something that you know can never work? Or something that drains you, or it isn't healthy for you? Don't settle. You can in in the time. Time will come with that will be perfect. Because there is no relationship timeline that says you are late or you're missing anything or you just have to settle there. No, no, no. Don't settle for something that is less because we have a tendency of jumping into things or trying to say like, you know, I don't think I can find someone. I don't think I can move on from here. Where will I get someone like this? So it's okay. Let me stay here. No, my sister know your values and live the truth and another mistake that we make is we forget about the love triangle or we don't really know something called the love triangle and the love triangle includes three things intimacy passion and commitment so unless you are there for fun never miss out on these three things that's why sometimes we say you are a good person but not for me because there is always something that is missing that can never or doesn't seem to be fixed because it's important it's important for you to be on the same page with your partner in when it comes to intimacy passion and commitment sometimes you are the one who wants to commit but this person doesn't want to yes you have the passion or you intimately perfect for each other but this person doesn't want to commit so you have to check on these three aspects intimacy passion and commitment and another one is losing yourself you know most of the time we find ourselves stuck in life the moment we start dating because you no longer care about yourself how you look and the things that matter to you worse enough we start becoming someone different totally away from our own values and goals because now you are so focused into this relationship you've forgotten things like your personal routines you've forgotten things like the things you used to value the thing uh the things that mattered to you because you're only doing what this person is doing or what they say what they what they think is the best and what they like like you are losing the part of you but remember that is not the, the reason to in the relationship in the first place we are there to make each other better we are not there to lose ourselves so let's try and check this out another mistake that we make especially these days is that we want to date to marry i mean don't get me wrong you know don't get me wrong like you have to jump from one person to another but you have to know that sometimes we miss out on everything by focusing on the goal of a relationship 
you know yes we all wish to marry our partners but that's not always the case sometimes we meet people to heal to know what's better to see the difference and experience life you know let things happen naturally especially if you're a woman don't force this person to marry you or to stay with you just because you want to be married no my sister that is very wrong you know don't go there thinking like i want to get married no honey see how things go see other things from this relationship take it slow don't always sit down and ask so when are we gonna get married start discussing about children and yes they matter these things you can ask where do these people stand on when it comes to such issues like family and children but don't be there to marry you know sometimes we say maybe you're dating this person just to know the nice restaurants don't you think so? <laughs>